Welcome back. It's your favorite AOE healer pro Lego channel. And today I've got a very fun package from Minifig Dreams. Minifigure Dreams. I don't know if you guys have seen this man. Uh, very prolific on eBay. He also has a uh, Bricklink store. Uh, but he, I, I've bought this with my own money just up front. So uh, all these opinions are real and good. And you have to believe me because I paid my own money for this. I don't recommend you going and looking up what this is. But inside of here we have, I believe, two very cool and special minifigures. If you're aware of the lore of this seller, you're going to know that this person deals in some oddities. And I can already see in here, um, <clears throat> there's uh, personal information. So... That's unfortunate, but inside the box is nothing if I take out the personal information, because... Let me take out the personal information. There is a zippy bag. Yes. <clears throat> and inside there are two smaller zippy bags, and those are non-production Lego minifigures. That's right. So I was, uh, I got a combo deal from this seller, MD. So I believe we have a satin white, a pearlescent white figure here. And we have a pearlescent blue figure here. So um, let's, let's take it out and look. There's a couple of things that we're looking for. These are supposedly 100% authentic. Um, they look good. They, they, there's... <laughs> this is not the video to be revealing my stockpile of off-brand figures. But I have quite a collection of off-brand and knockoffs and just uh, dubious releases. A lot of these are, are uh, modeled after licenses. And there's a, there's a specific look. This is, uh, the Santa is one of them. It just looks wrong. If you've, if you've been around minifigures as long as I have, if you've been around as long as I know the ancients out there have, you're going to, you're going to know that, that there's a certain look to a minifigure and you, you just can't, <laughs> I guess you can maybe fake it, but it's not a thing that's typically faked. That goes together really nice. I was a little worried. Um, minifigure dreams has a lot of, um, transparent colors and I've heard things about the transparent ones being very um, stiff and hard to use. This just works though. The hands are a little bit different color but that happens with like production minifigures. But you can see they're just a, a shade lighter maybe. Um, there's definitely like swirling and stuff in there. Can you make it out on the back of the head? Especially there's like just different swirling patterns and um, it's, a, it's a really nice there's a little flex of, of uh, pearlescent color in there and it's a really nice effect so we're looking for a couple different things first of all on top of the head i gotta get zoomed in like all the way that's a lego logo so that's or the top of the neck i suppose on top of the head we should also see one of those yeah i think that looks like a lego logo now there's a bunch of other ones like in between the legs Can you guys see that one that's there. The back of the toes is one of your hidden ones. Yep, back of the toes. He's got it on all pieces of the leg. Now, inside of the arm is one of the hardest ones to see. Mm. I think it's real. I can't see the inside of the arms. Can you Can you just make it out? Can you see it there right in the... It's right, kind of right above the elbow. It's there. And the hands do not ever have it, but... I mean... You can see it just a little bit. That is that is a really... I mean, it's, it's authentic. If... Listen, if you can't tell it apart from the original, it is the original. So this is probably going to be my new Sig Fig for a while. Uh, hanging around and doing Sig Fig type stuff. Uh, potentially, we can uh, give him a hat, maybe. Um, and then there's also this white one. And again, um, just 
glancing. Yeah, that that's a, that's the logos. That's what you're expecting to see. That's the that's the correct information. If you were to take this to Pawn Stars, and and Rick calls up his good buddy Brick Boy. He's going to look for those things. And this is, this is it. This is the, this is the genuine McCoy, the real, the real Captain Ahab, you know, this is, this is it. So, uh, I'm really excited to have it in my collection. I think this is a good time to say is that I will be posting, uh, I'll, I'll get some pictures up on Instagram as well as the, uh, channel, uh, community tab. So if you're on YouTube and don't want to go to Instagram, uh, if you're not following me, it's hard to find, kind of, but it should just show up in your feed if you're subscribed to me. So that'll be nice and easy. Um, let me know how much you're willing to pay for a minifigure, and I may tell you if I paid more than that. This, you know, per minifigure, this is about what the most I've paid for a minifigure. So um, I'll let you guys deduce that if you really want to. I don't recommend you do, but tell me, tell me how much you're willing to spend on a minifigure in the comments. I think that uh, these are these are good deals because I don't see Lego producing these. Some of the transparent colors are also, I think, if you're going to buy a non-production one, go for one that you know they're not going to make. And and that's that's something like this. I don't think they're ever going to make a, a solid monofig in the satin colors. I would be surprised if we get legs or a head even. A head is probably the most likely because it's like uses decoration in a lot of sets. But you're just really not going to get any of these. Um, maybe you get one arm, like kind of like one of the Chima characters where they have like one weird colored arm for some reason, but I don't, I don't see it happening. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's just not, I, I just don't see it. <laughs> I just don't see it happening, honestly. So, um, I think we're going to call it a video there. Uh, I hope to get some more videos out that aren't quite so, uh, I wouldn't say mundane, but they're, they're just short. They're not super well produced. I did do that pro Lego review of the Mecha Koopa. If you haven't seen that, that'll show up on the screen in just a second. If um, if you're not subscribed, please consider it. Uh, you can also become a channel member if you want to help me uh, continue to make questionable purchases of questionably legal minifigures. Like if you, is it? It's a legal build. It's made. It's Lego. It's real Lego. It's just not production and I think production is one of the standards but it's not the only standard so anyways on the screen uh pro lego mecha koopa review uh an automatic video is the first thing and then there's a subscribe in the middle please consider all of those things and do support your local lego channel for me okay I'm gonna leave you guys